and welcome to the Acidic Hipster Girl Kitchen. Today we are going to be making Nile Perch, a very special dish, just in time for Rosh Hashanah. We have all our fresh ingredients laid out and we're ready to begin. Look how beautiful that fresh Nile Perch is from Health Garden Seafood. Nile Perch is also known as Nasichat Haniluz in Hebrew. You can leave your fish whole or cut it into pieces. Makes it easier to serve. So we're gonna put on some salt, some black pepper, just a pinch of it, not too much. We're gonna put in some red chili flakes. I like the spicy, this is an optional spice. We are going to add our most popular spice for this recipe, paprika. Be generous with a sprinkling of the paprika. You want there to be a layer of red coating. And for some color, we're gonna add some turmeric. Let's go along with the Middle Eastern vibes, we're gonna throw in some cumin. I like being generous with my spices. Mm. So now I'm just gonna rub in the spices with my fingers and make sure to do the same thing on both sides because we want the flavor to really be there. So I'm just gonna flip everything over and repeat. So we're gonna turn on the griddle at a high fire, then drizzle some olive oil in there. Make sure it's really hot because we're gonna start searing the fish. When you feel the fire is hot enough, you're gonna go in with your fish and start searing it. It should sizzle a little bit. This is gonna be a very quick action. We're gonna flip it over real quick. Now that the fish is seared, if you wanna remove it and put it onto a clean tray, you don't wanna overcook it, so a quick sear is great, then lower the heat. The idea is just to get some color on the fish. So now we're gonna put it on the side and continue with the vegetables. Now on a medium fire, we're gonna throw in the chickpeas, the mushrooms, and some of the red peppers, and stir them around. You wanna add all your spices to the vegetables, so that's salt, pepper, red chili flakes, cumin, paprika and turmeric. We're gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic and some fresh cloves as well. Once your vegetables have sauteed, we're gonna add two spoons of tomato paste and you wanna be generous. You wanna make sure to mix it in so that the paste becomes more of a liquid. Next, you wanna add a can of diced tomatoes so you see the chunks and you wanna mix it in with the vegetables. Now that our vegetables are nicely simmered, we are going to add the fish that we just seared and put it right into the pan. Mmm, smells so good. Now that our fish is in the pan, we're gonna drizzle some tomato sauce. I like to be generous with my tomato sauce. I like the fish when it's very saucy. Um, I'm gonna put the red peppers that we cut in the beginning just for decor. And this is the funnest part, a whole cup of chopped cilantro right on top for decor and flavor. And now we're just gonna cover it for 20 minutes and let it simmer. Now that the 20 minutes are up, you can serve and enjoy.